Hey, what's up everybody? Um, today I'm going to be uh, showing you a bunch of different chords um, that you can use, all power chords, to kind of mix together with what I've sh showed you before. Uh, mainly, uh, I started talking to this kid uh, named uh, Richard um Umbach, or Umbach. Um, and he started just started playing the guitar, so um, he uh, wrote this this poem, um, and it was really really intense. Like I really I really enjoyed reading it, um, and I had asked him if he had had any uh, lyrics to it or not. Uh, I mean I'm sorry chords to it or not. And he's like, you know, I just started playing the guitar. I really don't have anything, so um, I'm gonna kind of show him um, or you, Richard, uh, some some different chords that you can use. Very basic, easy to play along to. Um, but all, all different chord progressions that are uh, using the same chords I've showed you in the previous videos that I had sent. So, um, the, the the previous videos that I had sent was going to be this like the C, C major, and there was the G, E minor, D, some some other ones that are go, kind of go along with that one is going to be A minor, which I showed you as well. Kind of a very uh, melodic. Uh, mystical <laughs> type of or, or Spanish or a lot of um, uh, Spanish music uses it um, then there's E minor so you're basically gonna take uh, this this pattern right here which is your uh, B string first fret uh, D and G string second fret like that and you're gonna use the same pattern but move it up one so you're gonna be on the uh, A D and E A D E, A, so A, D, and G, A, D, E, A, D, G, yeah, A, E, and A, D, and G string, your G is going to be your fret one, and then these two are going to be right there on fret two, so you have your G, D, C, E minor, C major, A minor, E, e major, okay, and then F was what I did. Another one is going to be D minor. So D minor is going to give you that. So first fret E string, uh, B string is going to be second fret middle finger. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, G string middle finger second fret. Your ring finger is going to be third fret B string. You can use a hammer on pull off with your pinky on the third fret IE string. Mix that with your E minor, so you have or A minor, E minor, or E major. Kind of give you that mystical Spanish. With with the A major, or I'm sorry, E major, you can lift off your your um, ring finger. Back up to A minor. And that with so your little hammer on pull off is just that's an A minor. A ma or E major. Little cool little tricks. You can also play your C major and a C major seven by taking your pinky and putting it on the B string third fret. A minor, you can actually take your pinky, second fret B string, or, sorry, 
third fret B string, little extensions off these off these chords, they can give you different feels and different um, different styles of uh, I guess guitar. Um, so uh, for Richard, one of the one of the uh, the chord progressions that I was thinking about for your song, something you could practice and play along with, was going to be. Um, it's going to be like a C, I guess it'd be a C, uh, C minor. So your uh, ring finger, th uh, B string, third fret. And then a C with these two fingers. So uh, be your um, second fret D string, third fret A string. Using this type of finger picking pattern. your C, be like a C7, or a C major, C minor. I'm not sure what's one of those. It sounds cool. <laughs> G, using, keeping your ring finger on that, on that B string, third fret. Back to C. Kind of playing around with playing around with those two notes, the C and the G. Whether you're keeping your pinky on the E string third fret, gives you a different feel for each one of those notes. So C, you can go. This is with your pinky off, and this is with your pinky on. Same thing with the G. then you can follow that into an E minor. And to your C, your, be your C major. So you have this C, which is a good, like my opinion, you can play them either way, switch them around if you want to, whatever, whatever you feel um, comfortable with um, is, is gonna be ideal. So, uh, real quick to recap, you have your C here, G, E minor, and then use a C, and then D. kind of playing them some different ways um, you can also kind of change it up a little bit and if you want to make it a little bit more of a faster like
good as a mixture of like, I mean, gosh, so many songs did the same thing, but you mix up the notes um, here and there, and it gives you a completely different ball game of a feel. Uh, and you know, it's kind of you, if your lyrics of the song are "I love you forever." You know, as you're playing it, I love you forever. You don't have to say those words, just just whatever, just kind of hum it. Like, uh -huh. um, I think it was Stevie Ray Vaughan that would uh, would sing like "Pancakes and Eggs" because he couldn't, he didn't have the lyrics for the song yet. So just to hum the melody of it would give you, you know, "Pancakes and Eggs." And then when once he got the melody of what he wanted, and how he wanted the words to go with the chords, he would put in the lyrics instead of "Pancakes and Eggs." And, you know uh she makes me beg or whatever the case is you know um, but it was really cool so anyway so give that one a try um i'm gonna put another another video in um uh, another couple videos with different chord progressions in to using different notes for you um i hope this helped if you if you like it leave a comment uh, subscribe uh, yeah and uh tell me what you think we'll see you soon